In the roulette world, you've probably heard of conspiracies that the casino tilts the wheel or has magnets around the number zero. That's to make sure that people betting on the even chances lose their money. Now, I've got a strategy that capitalizes on those conspiracies if they are true. It's presented to us by I am Naveen. Now, just full transparency, I don't subscribe to this conspiracy at all. I've worked in the casino industry for over a decade. Wow. Look at the number that's just landed as I'm talking about not believing the casinos put it into zero and it came up zero. Is that a sign? Who knows? So when I was a casino manager, there was no tilting of the wheel. There was no magnets in the number zero. Just as I'm saying that, the number zero lands. Anyway, we have a strategy from I am Naveen. He plays at BC Game. You might see him down the side. He might be playing now. And the bets that are about to put on the table capitalize on that area of the wheel. When the ball spins, I'll put the bet on. I'll show you what it is. And then I'll show you the numbers that it covers on the wheel. It doesn't just cover the zero section but some of these uh some of these splits and corners do cover a lot of that wheel so let's have a look at the book this is what it's set up to look like we have an eight dollar bet in total which might sound small but there's a reason for that so we've got one unit on our splits and our splits are 0 3 12 15 26 29 and 32 35 and we have two units on our corner, which is 4 8, 16 20. Total bet of $8. Oh, by the way, I have $1,000 playing at BC Game like I do for our strategies to test them out. Let's see where this lands. 34 is a loser. So the reason why we have an $8 bet is because we are going to repeat and double. Can't start off with a big, massive bet when this system i think it's called the power of zero that's what naveen's called it when we're going on a martingale so four or five losers in a row these bets are getting silly so i don't think this is a safe strategy i don't think naveen claims for it to be a safe strategy but let's see how it performs we are actually favorite to lose every spin we only have 16 numbers covered i'll tell you more about that in a minute if it lands near zero we're in the money so we're in the money. $16 bet, $36 returns. So that's a $20 profit on that spin. Get the bets back on. We go back to the original bet. So a $20 profit on that spin. But don't forget, we also lost $8 the previous spin. That's a $12 profit for that progression. Hence why we have $12 profit. We've got 1004 on the table plus Sorry, we've got $8 on the table plus our 1,004 balance. We just made $12 in that progression. When this lands, I will show you where these numbers are on the wheel. That's put. So if it lands near zero, we are going to be making money. That's part of this strategy. That's a $10 profit. $8 bet, $18 returned. Let's, we'll just repeat that. Let's go and show you the numbers and the wheel. So in this strategy, we have 12 covered, 35 covered, 3, 26, 0, 32, 15, 19, 4. So th that's where it stops there. So you've got 4 all the way through to 12. All of those numbers near 0 are covered. And we also have additional numbers that are obviously... Uh, like 17, for example, that's not near zero. That is covered with our corner bet. So that's a loser. We repeat and double. Although, to be honest, 17 isn't that far away from zero. Like, it's there. So there's 25, 22, 21, a misses. And then 17 is a hit. So there are some other numbers... You don't have to be next to zero to win. But if it's near zero, then you have one. Okay. 
That was close enough to zero to win. That was a $16 bet, a $36 return. We go back to our starting bet of $8. We're doing okay. We're not sticking around for too long with this. We are favorite to lose each spin. So we have we have 16 numbers covered, which means we've got 21 numbers not covered and 21 numbers not covered. So 21 out of 37 numbers, a 56% probability of losing. So with a martingale, double up, double up, double up, double up. Probability of losing five in a row is about 5%. Playing near zero, just, yeah. That's another $10 profit. So you're not going to win massive amounts with this, but you are more than doubling your bet. Sorry, you are... Yeah, you bet $8, you get returned $18. So it's better than having $8 on an even chance bet because you'd just be returned $16. You're getting just a bit more than even money. But obviously, in return, don't have an even chance of winning. You've actually got... A 56% chance of losing. One is not a winner. So we can repeat that. And we can double up. Okay, so we're going to go 8, 16, 32, 64, 1, 2, 8. We can get out of hand this. I don't want to stay around for too long. Naveen never claimed it was a safe system. Because I don't think it is. And I would have probably said to you, Naveen, this is not that safe. But he's had success with it. We'll give it a go. That's a winner. So even though that's on like the exact opposite side of zero, you can still pick up some wins. We'll get that power of zero bet back in. Because obviously there are other strategies like the Fibonacci in the zero section or zero neighbor bets that sort of like to focus on that area of the wheel. I understand why people think that there's like a magnet or a tilting towards zero. I think it just stays in your head more. Like you'll see me in my videos when I'm playing the even chance bets or the dozens and it lands in zero, I'm devastated because it's a loser. But I think just because it's green compared to the rest of them being red and black, um, it just sticks out far more. That is a loser. So let's repeat the bet and double. So interestingly with this strategy, because we have more chance of losing, so we've not quite got an even chance of winning, when we do progress through our progression, so the first bet wins $10. Then if you go on to the second stage, when you return 20 minus your 8, that's a $12 profit for that progression. And the next stage is a $14 profit for that progression. Now, obviously, you just want to win and get back to the starting bet. So we're on stage three now. This is our biggest bet so far. But you are sort of rewarded for following the progression. So I'd have made $14 profit. Sorry, I'd have made $12 profit for the progression if that landed. If this lands, I will make $14 profit for the progression. I'd like this one to land. I don't really want to go to $64 bets. We've only had two bets in a row that, that have lost. And we're on a $32 bet so far. So you can put this straight into zero, please. Nowhere near zero. 23 is a loser. So here we go. These are when the bets start getting big. Double up. $64 bet. Now, the great thing is, when we do hit a winner, if we do hit a winner, we will recoup all our losses and be back in a profit. But we have missed, missed, missed. I'd like to see a winner soon, please. Anybody that's played roulette, will tell you that they've lost more than five even chances in a row. This is less than an even chance. Who's a loser? $128 bet, guys. 
repeat and double. Told you it wasn't safe. I wanted to give it a go. Naveen's a good guy. He's in the Discord, very active. He said he's been having some good luck with his strategy. We, you do need luck with all roulette strategies. This is a bit more aggressive than I would be going with, but let's see if it can turn it around. Okay, straight into the zero. We've won. We've recouped our losses, and we are now... $96 in profit. So there you go. Just one spin. Brought it all the way back. So that was four losses in a row, right? That was a six was a loser. 18 was a loser. 23 was a loser. Two was a loser. And then zero was our winning bet. So four bets losing. And then the recovery on the fifth. We lost the fifth. That's would have been getting silly. 11. I like 11, but not when I'm playing this strategy. Uh, so that's a repeat and double. What we will try and do, Naveen says don't stay around for too long, and I completely agree, because otherwise you, you will hit that 6-7 Losing streak and lose your entire bankroll. So we'll try and get to about $200 profit. Then I can put $100 into the giveaway. We've just had a massive giveaway on Sunday. So hopefully we can build up the, the new giveaway pot. And we'll also give $100 to Naveen. That's a winner. Reasonably fast way to make some money. Even with just $8 bets. So you're in a bit of a, a dilemma here. You're only making $10 per spin. You're only risking $8 at the start. But you need to start small. Because four, you just saw four losers in a row. What was I at? I was at $128 bet. $128? Yeah, it was $128, wasn't it? But don't go into this with like 10% of your bankroll as the starting bet. Because three of them, you're gone. Thirty-one is a loser. Pete and double. Yes, yeah, so we'll try and get some money into the giveaway pot. We'll give a hundred dollars to Naveen. This is if we win. I'm not giving a hundred dollars to Naveen if I lose a thousand dollars. And don't forget, guys, if you want to win some of this, you need to sign up to BC Game using the code Matchmaker. Come into the Discord; it'll get you in the giveaway. But we've also got the leaderboard. I'm going to give away another $3,000 at the end of the month. So BC Game kindly sponsored a channel, which allows me to give as much money as I possibly can to you guys in the community. Where's that going? Number three is good. We're $120 in profit. Pretty strong. We don't want to repeat. We want to go back to base level. Now, you could play this a bit safer because what you could do is just repeat the bet after a loser. Maybe consider that. Because that would be $8. That would be $16 bet over the, two, over the two sessions. And then your winner will return 18 so you make $2 profit. Twenty-four is a loser. Now, if you want it to be super, super safe, you could just repeat this bet as it is. We're going to play Naveen style and double. But if you wanted to give yourself a bit of a breathing space, you can. You cannot double after the first loss. Because when you land, you'll still make profit on a second spin. Not as much, obviously, but let me just, so it'd be sixteen dollars bet, and it would return eighteen. Yeah, it'd be it'd be uh, it'd be profitable. Or is a winner though. 
So with a bit of bravery and a double up, obviously we won more money. Get the original bet on. We're looking good ish. Probably need to win another five or six spins. And we will be in the money. Here's the numbers for you guys. Oh, by the way, I've ordered a new chair. So this won't be in the way. The comment section gets lit up with how I'm in the way. I don't want to be in this top right hand corner. Do you, want, do you guys really want to see me up there? It doesn't make any sense. I've just I bought a new chair for you. 36 is not a winner. There's no winners in that section, which is my favourite section normally. I go back here. Where's the nearest winner? No. So from 34 all the way to the all the way to 10. That section there is all losers. That's obviously in return for all the zero being being winners. One is a loser. Beat and double. So after two losers in a row, this is when we could ideally do with a winning bet. This loses, we go 64. If it loses again, we're back to that $128 bet, which is a lot of money considering you started at $8. I just want to see it land near zero. I want the conspiracy to be true. Is it close enough? Yeah, it is. Okay. That's a $72 return. We're almost at $150 profit. Let's get back to the hour of zero original bet. $8. Can it hang on? I want to get out soon. I, I have a feeling that you're asking for trouble if you stay playing this for too long. Oh, nope, one's not good. 20 next door was good, but not that time. So repeat and double. Yeah, so the other numbers that aren't next to that zero are sort of spread out everywhere. You've got like your 17. Oh, let's just see what landed there. Good, right next to zero. So I didn't have it on the right screen, but I could see that coming into zero and obviously knew that that was about to be a winner. $160, 40 more dollars to go. Let's get that in. As I was saying, so the other winners that aren't next to the zero, you've got 17, which is over here. What else do you have? You have... Oh, actually, I'd tell a lie. Eight. So this section isn't that bad. Eight is a winner. And you've got 16 over here, 20 over here. And obviously seven here, which is good. That 36 seems to come out quite a lot. But when it's in that section, eight is like my only number that can make me money. Repeat and double. Obviously, we want it to be not two. Here, four from four to 12. That section there. Guys, turn that magnet on and let us win.
Oh, just it was close, but not close enough. 21's a loser. That's just short of our starting win section. Repeat and double. $32 bet. I don't like these 32. 64 and then 128 is a big jump. If I had bags of time, I would I would change this to lose the first one, repeat, and then start doubling. That would be what I'd do. Okay, seven's a winner. Pretty good. But obviously that would be a super slower way to win money. You'd only be winning two, then four, then six, then eight, then ten on your progression. If you decided to repeat the bet on the first loser. But you have another chance. You have like another loser until you until you take out your entire bankroll. But actually, maybe the risk to reward ratio on that is not worth it. Go hard or go home, some people probably be saying. Fourteen is not good. Repeat and double. We've, we've been going for about 20 minutes. We are doing well. We got into a little bit of trouble on our $128 bet. I wouldn't have wanted to lose that. Obviously. Duh. But then it would have been 2-5-6 and then it would have probably been game over. Twenty. All right, we take twenty. Right. We need one more win, and we've made our two hundred dollar profit. So if we hit this one, then it's ten dollars, and then our total profit will be one hundred ninety-eight. Hit the second one, we'll make twelve dollars profit, and it'll be exactly one thousand two hundred. We hit the next one, it'll be fourteen dollar profit. I, I just take the first win. Give it to me. I don't mind being two dollars short. I, I want to get out of this now because Martingale scares me a bit. Okay, eighteen is a loser. But if we do hit a winner, we will have made one thousand two hundred dollars. If we do hit a winner, this will be horrific. If we get this close, and then it falls apart. Land this straight in zero. So the first number of the video was zero. The last number of the video is zero. And then we can confirm the conspiracy is true. Nowhere near zero. See? And double. We're at that $32 bet, which has seemed to land more often than not, but I just don't like being at this, this level. That's only two losers in a row. Am I the scare, scaredest? Scaredest, is that a word? Am I the scaredest roulette player in the world? Maybe. I just want to win every spin. That's why I like higher coverage. I don't really like being favourite to lose. Here we go, guys. Putting us to the test. We only needed one more win. And we're on a bit of a losing streak. Loser, loser, loser. That has made us put our $64 bets on. Need, I could really do a win in this. I don't want to get onto $128 bets. I did say I wanted to get out sooner rather than later. 
what, what were results that we had the last 100 spins? They are 20, 27, 12, 18, 23. That looks okay. Okay, we did it. Got close to zero. Knew we were in the money. There we go. We have made our $212 profit. $100 is going into the giveaway. $100 is going to I Am Naveen. Guys, if you like this video, share it with a friend. Come and join the Discord and sign up to BC Game. I will see you in the next video.